Tadaan! Maybe about two weeks ago, someone messaged me on my Instagram. It's Bea. It's Bea Dairit from Hatch Solutions. Um, and I was really surprised because um, I only started doing coffee contents maybe last November and it's the first time that someone has actually invited me to an event. <laughs> it's the opening of Cooper's Coffee House's sixth branch. They opened a new branch in one Ayala Mall in Makati in front of um, Glorieta. And it was really a fun day. I wasn't really familiar with Cooper's Coffee House since all of their stores, all of their shops are mostly in Ortigas, Makati area, BGC. Yeah. And I'm from Quezon City, so I don't really go that far. <laughs> they actually held a sensory workshop, right? What is a sensory workshop? It is an advanced um, workshop for coffee lovers. So they will teach you how to um, identify flavors. They will teach you the difference in flavors. We did three workshops, right? So it, it's I I am always I am always an advocate of education and spreading the knowledge. I really liked what Coopers did that day. So. Actually, the first activity was a sensory workshop. So we have um, eight different scents. They didn't make us identify what, what we could smell, but we simply have to identify which is a pleasant scent and the unpleasant scent. There were eight vials of these scents, and then there were two groups. So they made it like a competitive activity of those eight scents, four of which is an unpleasant scent, and four is a pleasant scent. Okay, so both of the groups um, got exactly the right answer. But here is what's amazing. So the four, the four, the four unpleasant scent, these are the, these are the scents of um, defective coffee beans. Right, so you smell rubber, you smell smoke, you smell soil, and I forgot the other one, but those are the smells of defective coffee. So immediately what I thought was, wow, this is this is really good because they're trying to educate normal people of what is a good coffee and not. So the four pleasant scents, these are the flavors that they curated for Cooper's Coffee House. Ah, isn't it great, right? So it was a nice twist to the activity. So the second activity involves tasting. So they pulled three shots of espresso. One is under extracted, one is over extracted, and one is the right extraction. So we tasted the espresso Everyone tasted, everyone in the group tasted the espresso. And then, um, at the end of the activity, they, they revealed which one is the under-extracted and why, which one is the over-extracted, and which one is the perfect pull of espresso shot. Again, it's amazing why they do this because um, they're trying to teach people, they're not trying to impose on people, but they are trying to get people to be more educated now because a lot of coffee shops are springing um, from one place to another and most of them serve really bad coffee, if I might say. <laughs> I'm not gonna name brands, but yes, a lot of coffee shops out there, even the chain ones, serve bad coffee. The third activity was latte art. They actually asked for volunteers to if they who who wants to learn how to pour a latte art. So the first part of the third activity, um, Tito Mac, which is one of the known personalities in the coffee industry, um, he taught how to do a basic latte art. Okay, and then. Um, 
After which, after he taught the principle and how to do it, they called upon the volunteers and then they let the volunteers do the latte art by themselves. It's a really nice um, activity to do in a coffee opening shop. Not just feeding people. <laughs> at the end of the whole event, at the end of the whole event, they um, actually gave away goodies, um, which, which is a really nice touch. So it was their um, signature blend, which is the Morning Mist Chief. Um, this is the exact beans that they use in their drinks. Okay, and then they also gave away a very generous um, voucher. I'm not gonna say the amount, but it's really generous. It's not your regular um, giveaway voucher, but it's really generous. And a really cute um, takeaway cup. It's glass um, with a plastic lid. And actually, it has a straw, but um, I took mine out. And with a sleeve with their name on it. During the whole event, there is food, um, there are sandwiches, there is there's even a photo booth and a live portrait um, going on. And at the same time, you can order as much coffee as you would want to drink. The drink that I ordered is the burnt butter latte. So the burnt butter latte is their version of the Spanish latte. So it's their own recipe. Um, it's, I, I really like it because it's not too sweet. It's not too sugary. And the best thing about their drinks is they make their own syrups and sweeteners. Their drinks are really unique. The taste that you will get is only available to them. So I want to thank Bea and Hatch Solutions for inviting me. I also want to thank Sir Raul, Tito Mac, and Tito Cuyo for hosting the event. And lastly, of course, I want to thank Cooper's Coffee House for even considering me as one of the um, attendees for your opening. So if you want to try Cooper's Coffee House, you can visit them at their new branch in Juan Ayala Mall, um, second floor lobby. So for now, thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!